Hello everybody and welcome back to the next episode of our house renovation project. So um, one question, do you like gravel? <laughs> Then this is definitely your episode. Today I will take care about a lot of gravel. So you might see here the, the rest of about 20 tons I need to handle today. Um, I'm still there to fulfill or to fill up the former basement uh, below the kitchen with a lot of stuff, yeah, some old rubbish and stones and whatever, but also I need a lot of gravel uh, to put it there. And um, yeah, this is the task for today. So I would say I will not talk so much and I <laughs> would say have fun, sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, let's start today a little bit with the logistic part of the project. So I am working still at the basement, filling everything up, but for this I need a lot of gravel. And as you can see, here is my father-in-law and he helped me out with his tractor and his trailer. Um, on this trailer um, there is possibility to load up to six tons of gravel. So what you see here, these are six to 6.5 tons of gravel. And um, yeah, during uh, the time I'm working on the basement, my father-in-law had to drove twice a day to the building materials trader to yeah to pick up some new gravel and transport it here to my building site. Yeah, and my part in the story was then, as you can imagine, to put everything into the track dumper, load for for load and. Uh, Yeah, transport it into the building and uh, to the basement. <laughs> But this job was fortunately not so exhausting for me. Yeah, with the help of my mini excavator and my track dumper, it was quite easy to move all these tons of gravel into the house. Yeah, it was only, I would say, some time consuming, uh, as you can imagine, if you, yeah, because you have to do everything in, in serial, yeah, so load for load. And sometimes in between the loads, as you can see it here, I need to spread the gravel a little bit on the ground. I'm working here on some kind of ramp of gravel to have the possibility to drive with the dumper to the back of the basement, yeah, to have more possibility to spread it uh, a little bit easier. Yeah, and before I can go on with the next layer of gravel, I need to compress it a little bit again. And in order to do this, I'm using here my little stomper again. Uh, but somebody already uh, wrote me in one of the comments that this is more or less known as a jumping jack. Yeah, that definitely sounds much cooler. So I will now from now on uh, call this machine a jumping jack. Yeah, then my father-in-law is there again with the next uh, few tons of gravel uh, fresh from the material trailer.
Yeah, as you can see, my father-in-law was really a big help at that time, yeah, because now uh, we got all the delivery of the gravel more or less for free. Uh, if you would buy this at a material trader and you have to transport it with a big truck, then it would be quite expensive, yeah, to get this amount of, yeah, what we said, yeah, about no nearly 30 tons of gravel. This would be really expensive and um, so it was more or less free we only have to pay for the gravel and this only costs a few euros per ton yeah? so this is not not so much yeah now after filling up the next layer of gravel and spreading it a little bit i can take care of the rest of the walls yeah you see there is still some steel beams left which needs to be removed and on the left side of the former basement you see the rest of the wall so this also needs to be removed and um, yeah because now i have some gravel here and this is everything is compressed i can now add without any problem some rubble uh, from this wall Yeah, so now it's time to get rid of the next steel beam, um, of course with some protective clothing, <laughs> uh, formerly known as a thick uh, sweater. <laughs> and um, yeah, with my angel grinder, uh, I now cut off the steel beams and I can remove it simply. And so I get enough space for my track dumper to reach the last end of the room yeah because as you may have seen a few minutes ago there was not enough height le left yeah for the track dumper to get in yeah at exactly that point where i now uh, unload the gravel yeah so uh, yeah i mix it a little up the gravel with the uh, rubble and this is also no problem because there's then uh, you can compress it anyway so this is uh, simply uh, the easiest way i would say then there is only one uh, task left there is a water meter you can barely see it on the left side on the rest of the wall and this also needs to be moved uh, in another location so for the moment we can leave the gravel at the actual height 
And yeah, can uh, start with the next uh, part of, yeah, I think again, some demolish work. You can see now this wall is in our way. We want to get into the room behind this wall. <laughs> and for this, I called my demolish boys. Yeah, you may know them from one of the, of the last videos also, yeah, um, for demolishing of walls. They are definitely the experts. Big guys with big hammers, what can go wrong, yeah? <laughs> but but please be aware, um, if you plan to demolish walls, you should not take this lightly, yeah? So there is definitely a high risk of injury. So uh, please do this with care if you do it by your own. Musst du erst wieder ran, ne? Ja, komm, zeig dir mal, was ein Bizeps ist. Ja, ja. Das lässt er nicht auf sich sitzen. <lacht> du, das Kabel ist doch gut. Alter Schwede. <lacht> Umverdichtung. Ja, können wir auch eine Tür jetzt reinmachen eigentlich. Ja, Tür. Tür sehr gut. Alter. Pass auf den Obersten auf, ne? Der klemmt immer noch, der. Komm. Der kommt in seine Richtung, der Obere. Ja, der obere fällt zu dir gleich. Ja, vorsicht, ne? Fällt gar nicht, das ist auch gut. Ja, gut, oder? Was? Das ist doch nicht wahr, oder? Der will dich doch nur verarschen. So at that point you might wondering yourself why we are not using any machines, yeah, or simply uh, tear down this wall with a hammer. <laughs> this might look a little bit anachronistic, I understand, but um, you see here, this is some kind of vertically perforated brick and using a yeah, big machine, so like I'm using here, my big Makita, does not really work so good, yeah, because the, um, yeah, the power on the point is, near, is, is simply too high. So this means you always uh, put holes into the wall, but you are not able to crush the stones and so demolish the wall. And so it's much easier and of course faster uh, doing uh, the, yeah, the tear down uh, simply with the hammer. So after my demolish guys are uh, away again the next day, uh, I have to tidy up a little bit. As you just saw, I remove all the stones simply by hand. This is also much uh, easier at the moment. And then this small rubble, there is no issue. Yeah, all the small parts I can uh, compress and crush with my jumping jack. Um, so this is also much simpler and easier and doesn't matter anyhow for the compressing of the complete uh, uh, ground. Yeah, The only last thing I have to do here is to spread it a little more to have it more or less on the same level so that I have a constant layer of this uh, rubble uh, which I can then compress. Yeah? So, and sometimes there are some bigger parts in, in, uh, in this layer which I already have to remove. So then it's, uh, yeah, it's jumping jack time, but you can see there is really a lot of dust in the air and I don't wear uh, any kind of respirator. And this is what I would always uh, advise. Yeah? Don't do this, always wear a respirator. Um, and at that time I was young and stupid and <laughs> I simply didn't know any better. Yeah, So today I have much more experience. And so I can tell you that all the protection clothes and devices are really important. So now the basement isn't anymore, yeah, completely filled up with gravel, with sand, with soil, with rubbish and uh, yeah, what we are, yeah, some, <laughs> but definitely no dead bodies, yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, no, so now we are at the final uh, height and um, this means we can now work uh, in the next direction, this is why we already uh, also demolished this wall that we can now dig in that direction because the next part of the concrete floor slab will be in this area. Yeah? 
Yeah. So, but this I will thank. Uh, I will say we will see in the next video. So, thanks for watching, and I hope I see you again in the next episode of our house restoration diary. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.